Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. What is wisdom? It is not at all what most people think. Most consider intelligence and wisdom to be synonymous. Quite the contrary. You cannot have wisdom without intelligence. But you can have intelligence, without wisdom. Wisdom is more of a verb, than a noun. Wisdom is what you do, with your intellect. Wisdom is the application of your intelligence, and the beginning of wisdom, is the reverence of God. The foundation of wisdom, is to honor the actual source of wisdom, and that is the Creator Himself. Unfortunately, wisdom is a very rare commodity in this world. And because of this, the wrath of God is being revealed against all the godlessness of those who suppress the truth, by their wickedness. For since the creation of the universe, God's eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen through that which He created, so that people are without excuse. For although they knew of God, they neither glorified Him as God, nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools, and worshipped science and nature, rather than the Creator. Because of their foolish decisions, they have become filled with every kind of evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, strife, deceit, and malice. They have no understanding, no love, no mercy. This, is not wisdom. It is the fool, who has said in his heart, there is no God. Reject the lies and deception of the unbelievers, and embrace the witness and evidence, of the Creator. Oh the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments, and His ways beyond comprehension! Who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been His counselor? He created and set the universe in motion. He established all the laws that govern the universe, and life itself. Yet man in his foolishness, ascribes the acts of divine creation, to be an accident of mother nature. Only a fool would credit nature, for what is clearly an act of God. So I beckon you my friend, come back to wisdom. Come back to God. Let go of the world and its empty promises, and give your heart and life back to the Creator. Only then will you find true peace. Only then, will you find wisdom. Peace be unto you and your house. Pursue wisdom my friend, with all your heart, mind, and strength. If you do, you will not only find wisdom, you will find, the Creator.